hello, everyone. Welcome again to the D&I Discovery Chit Chat. I am here with Michelle Vondren. I did say your name correctly, correct? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about yourself, your background, your role, and how long you've been with uh, Uh, My background. So how did I get to be where I'm at right now? I am coming out of college. I had a degree in chemistry and got hired by one of the paint companies to be a research and development chemist for them. Uh, So was a supplier to Steelscape in the ASCs of the world for uh, quite a few years. And then was uh, approached one day by Steelscape wanting to know if I wanted to come to the application side of the industry. And I said, sure, that sounds fun. And it's, uh, that was 18 years ago. So I've been with the company 18 years now, uh, this past summer and time flies. It's been fantastic. And uh, I love being on the manufacturing side. Tell us, tell me a little bit about your upbringing. So what makes Michelle, Michelle? <laughs> so many things. Um, native Californian. I was born and raised on the central coast of California, a beautiful area. Uh, grew up on a small horse ranch just north of San Luis Obispo, California. Okay. Uh, which back in the day was, you know, cattle farming and dry land farming. Now it's wine country. Um, <laughs> the, the town that was the town that was closest to us was called Atascadero, which means mud hole. For all oh, of those really? Wine. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so yeah, only child. Um, great parents. A um, little bit spoiled. <laughs> grew up with horses. <laughs> okay. and, Horses and dogs and cats and, you know, living the country life. What are your interests outside of work and how do they shape your lifestyle and personality? Wow. So I, um, I am an equestrian, uh, other than work, my other passion in life is horses. So I told you, I grew up on a small horse ranch. Rode my first horse when I was three years old. I went to my first competition when I was four years old and I've never looked back. So um, I compete at a national and world level. Um, it's uh, it's almost like having a second job. It takes up almost all of my free time. It's a very serious hobby, very serious passion. I talk about horses all day long. Um, yeah, it's uh, and it's been, you know, it's probably taught me as much about the world and people as any education could have or any schooling could have. I've gotten to travel, right, from a young age all over the country, nice. meeting different people, having different experiences. Um, and it really is my second family. Um, you know, mm-hmm. it's long, been doing it, you know, almost 46 years now. <laughs> Wow. And there are people that I've known that I still know for that entire time showing horses that we're all still wow. doing it. So yeah, it's a big part of my life. And um, as much as I love the horses, it's the people, right? It's right. That, those connections in my family. Why is D&I important to you? And why should it be important to those at CPNA? Uh, I, I mean, the first reason it's important to me is for very uh, selfish and personal reasons, right? I'm a female. Um, a female in a what has been traditionally a male dominated industry uh, and a female who was in the math and sciences and was often a minority. I spent, uh, you know, my graduating class out of university, I think there were 15 of us with chemistry degrees that year and there were two women, me and one other, that was it. Um, and then the first part of my career, I was very often the only female in the room, the only female at the table. Uh, for a period of time, I was the only female at my work site. Um, so it was important to me, uh, especially uh, to get girls and women in the STEM uh, areas, right? The, the technical fields, the engineering fields, the, the math and science fields. So uh, that's been important to me uh, for personal and selfish reasons. And I'm thrilled at the strides we've made. But what I've learned being part of the DNI Council, and as this became more of a topic uh, of conversation, is it's broadened my horizons. I looked at it very narrow as a, as a female, but it really has opened my eyes to how all diversity is important, right? It's the backgrounds and the points of views that come and, and age and where you came from in society all bring something to the table and mm-hmm. the more the better, right? That we have with right. that. And um, yeah, and addressing 
my unconscious bias in, in trying to be a better manager by recognizing those and mm -hmm. having more diversity and really the inclusion part. We have diversity, mm -hmm. we got it in the organization, but we need to include them mm -hmm. uh, more, right? We need to right. draw from outside our little silos and our departments right. that we get comfortable with, um, which we're all guilty of, it's human nature. Right. We have to make a conscious effort to do that. And so that part of it to me, I think is really important. Um, is as well. Um,